Hey everybody, Rob Retzel here. I'm a real estate attorney, broker, and investor. I am the director of acquisitions at the AA Real Estate Group, as well as the leader of the solutions team at AA Premier Properties. Um, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about why I love real estate. And this is kind of going to be a several part video series, I think. But today I'm going to talk about um, leverage. And many people have a, have a concept of what leverage is, but why um, why do I like leverage in, in real estate? And it's kind of simple. I can give you an example. If I have $10,000, how much stock can I buy? Well, I can buy $10,000 worth of stock. Uh, if I have $10,000, how much gold can I buy? I can buy about $10,000 worth of gold. Not about, but exactly $10,000 worth of gold. Now, if I have uh, $10,000, how much real estate can I buy? Of course, it's a trick question. You can buy as much as you can structure the terms for. You know, if you're going to go conventional financing, you're probably going to have to put at least 20 to 25 percent down, so maybe fifty thousand dollars. But if you're using owner financing or something like that, really whatever that the home seller is willing uh, to do terms wise, so you can get into, you know, really a, a, a huge amount of real estate. So and, and you know, so 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 that's why you know that's that's a good example of what leverage is. Now some people don't like to use leverage, or they, or they say that you shouldn't use leverage. It can get you in trouble. And you know if you have a hundred thousand dollars, you should really only buy one hundred thousand dollars worth of real estate. Now, um, I mean, I agree with that to some extent. Once you're once you get older, it's probably uh, good to minimize risk and, and preserve your wealth rather than build your wealth. But when you're when you're young. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with trying to uh, with trying to build wealth quickly by leveraging, you know, by by using leverage. Um, you know, especially when you look at what our economy is like and, and with the inflation that's 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 going on, and you know, our our, our economy is basically built to in, to inflate, and real estate is great because it it, it actually with that inflation. Um, you know, it offers protection. It appreciates as the current the currency devaluates, uh, which is you know what happens with monetary inflation, and it appreciates. So when you when you have a higher uh, or a, or a faster uh, economic cycle or whatever you want to call it, when there's when there's economic growth, your real estate uh, assets are going to appreciate. So you know even though the value of money is going down, hopefully if you buy real estate and hold it. You are protecting yourself against that uh, with the appreciation. So that's really, you know, the number one thing. And yes, okay, I agree. Um, leverage can be a bad thing if you don't know what you're doing, or if you're older and you just don't, uh, and you, you can get yourself into trouble rather than buying something that uh, that's worth whatever money you put down on. But for the most part, especially with wealth building, and that's really what we're trying to do. Um, I think leverage is the probably the number one reason you should be investing in real estate if you're trying to build wealth and financial freedom. Anyway, I'm going to go to uh, you know the second part of the series, probably in a couple of days. I'll figure out what I'm going to say for that. But if anyone wants to give me a call, talk about real estate investing or retail uh, buying or selling, please do. 774 I answer my own phone. You can check me out on the web at www.massfastcashoffer.com and www.retzelrealestatesolutions.com. Have an awesome day. Thanks.